Uh, so for the past hour, I have been building this. What this is, is it's a hot wire cutter and I'll use it for cutting foam. Different foam shapes and stuff for lost foam casting. Uh, it's very, very simple. Um, underneath, I just have this, this little 2x4 cross brace to keep the lit, to keep these legs uh, level and straight. Then I have what looks like a half inch plywood uh, table on it. And then I have an upright uh, bracing and then the cross beam over here. Uh, for the hot wire, I'm using uh, 024 mild steel welding wire, uh, just solid core, no flex core. Um, and then to heat it up, I'm using a uh, battery charger set on 12 volts and 10 amps. And that works, I find that works pretty good for the length of wire and everything that I have. Um, up here, I have the wire wrapped around a screw. And then that is a nice contact post for the for the battery clip there. And then here in the hole that that goes down in underneath here, uh, I have just a little one of a little fin from a computer heatsink that I drilled a hole into. And what that does is the wire rests on the heatsink instead of the wood because the wire gets hot all the way along it. So otherwise, if I didn't have this little thing here, then it would start burning through the wood and eventually move this way and the wire wouldn't be level straight up and down anymore. So then I used a, a, a just a makeshift plumb bob to uh, to find it straight down from the top here and then drilled a hole in the table down here. And then down underneath here, I don't know if you can see, but I have like a little, little two and a half pound barbell weight here and that keeps tension on the wire. That keeps tension on the wire so that it is nice and straight. Uh, then I have another, another wire, another screw nail here wrapped around, and then a final screw nail here that keeps this one from unraveling. And then I just hook up the one of them to here. The polarity doesn't really matter since it's not powering anything; it's just heating it up. So it's just whatever happens. Okay, so I will set this camera right here and we'll cut some foam. I have two different kinds. The one that I'll mainly be using for casting and stuff is this stuff. It comes in pink, blue, and yellow. It's called XPS or expanded poly extruded polystyrene. And then this is EPS, which is what you would probably know as styrofoam. Uh, it's not as good as XPS for casting and everything because it's it's um it's a lot less dense and it ha it's it doesn't cut very well. It doesn't you can't really shape too many things with it unless you have it with a proper steam mold and everything, but then you have to make the mold and the point of this is that you make stuff with it instead of having to make it with stuff. Okay, so I'll plug in the battery charger and then we'll cut some foam. As you can see, it's nice, clean cuts. Uh, I need to work on on how on on pushing it through straight, but yeah, so it's nice, smooth, clean cuts. Now I'll do some styrofoam. Same thing on here, it's nice, nice flat, smooth edges, that way where it cuts. And then what's neat about this is you can do all different kinds of shapes and anything you need. The important thing with this is to go slow and let the tool do the work, otherwise you'll come out with a, with like a bent shape, a bent wire and then your lines won't be straight. Just go slow and let the tool do the work and it'll cut it for you. So see, so I just cut that. Just cut that and then you just slide it out. And then you have 
to little pieces. Uh, yeah, so you can just cut any kind of foam with this, really. Any kind of any kind of polystyrene. Yeah, so I'll use this to make molds for lost foam casting when I get my furnace up and running, which should be very, very soon. Yeah. So that's my hot wire cutter that I just made really in one hour with just scrap parts. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.